Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today thought it would be a good time to start up a new series on my main Chief Pat account. So if you look in the top left, you're going to notice something pretty weird. I'm all the way down to 1,500 cups in gold three. I don't remember the last time I've been this far down on my main account, um, but the reason I'm doing that is because I want to do a series I've always wanted to do. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be attacking like normal, trying to climb my way up as far as I can go. But the one catch is, is that I can't lose a single raid along the way. So this series is going to last as long as I don't lose a raid. Uh, as long as I can get one star, I can continue going, but I'm going to see exactly how far I can climb. I'm putting a lot on the line. I hope I don't lose within like the first three episodes. That would pretty much be the biggest failure in the history of Clash of Clans on YouTube, but uh, I'm not too worried, and I, I'm going to use a couple crazy army compositions for the beginning raid. So let's see how far we can go. I'm hoping to get somewhere in the mid-3000s or something like that, um, and I'm sure after this first episode, when I log off, I'm probably going to win a lot on defense, uh, but yeah, let's take care of some of these Town Hall 7s and Town Hall 8s and see if we can make our way along. So like I said, I'm not going to take it too seriously for these first couple of videos because we are attacking these super weak bases and uh, I'm assuming that I'm not going to lose to one of these guys with maxed out troops but let's just go ahead and see how we do and see if we can three star a couple of bases. So I already got the first star for taking care of the town hall. Definitely uh, that one was pretty difficult. <laughs> now we're just going to run through and, and keep destroying it. So you can see I'm using giants and wizards as well as jump spells. I didn't bring any wall breakers. I actually did this army composition because one of my clan mates, Steve, uses this a lot in clan wars against like town hall 10s and he can get two stars pretty reliably. Um, so yeah, this one was pretty fun and we ended up destroying the base pretty easily. So 85% just going to destroy some of these buildings on the outside, and this will be our first three star for the series. So if you guys have any suggestions for army compositions you want me to use, probably for the first maybe four or five episodes, I can switch it up a bit and uh, do some crazy stuff while not going completely over the edge, like 240 goblins or something like that. I should be able to switch it up a bit since we're going against Town Hall 9s and stuff like that. Um, but once we get to the 3000s, we're probably going to have to tighten it down a little bit. I don't want to do the standard rating, just like go wee wee and go wipe all the way from 3000 up. So I'm going to try to do a bunch of air attacks and try to be at least a little bit risky. Um, but at the same time, I want to make sure I don't fail a little bit early and I want to make sure I can push as far as possible. All right. So right now attacking base number two, I brought two golems, a lot of Valkyries and a couple of wall breakers. Pretty much this composition is all laid around the Valkyries and trying to keep those guys protected. That's why I brought the golems. And uh, also, my heroes are definitely going to do a ton of damage against the base. I've always wondered if I just drop two level 40 heroes against like a Town Hall 8 or a Town Hall 9, how much damage they can do. And I feel like they should be able to at least get the Town Hall and maybe get two stars. They're just so powerful, especially against bases like this that don't have a lot of single target damage. Um, for example, like Inferno Towers or Expos or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have to try that sometime and maybe do that in a separate video. I don't know if I want to do it in this series and end up failing and uh, losing it all. All right, right now we're at 84%. Things are looking pretty good. Just going to shoot down these army camps over the top left, as well as a couple of the garbage buildings on the outside. And yeah, should be smooth sailing. Again, if I lose on one of these first couple of episodes, I'm just going to shut down my YouTube channel because that would be absolutely awful. And uh, if I do fail, I know a lot of people will bring up this video for the fact that I just said that, but hopefully things won't go down that path. All right, 25 cups. Again, not too many resources. Not too focused on that for the series. And uh, let's just go ahead and attack base number three. So for base number three, this guy is a Town Hall 8. You can see I brought some Lava Hounds as well as the Hog Riders. This is a pretty funny army composition. Uh, when I was out testing out the new troop, one of the developers, Jonas, you guys have seen him in the interview, he always told me to use the Hogs and Dogs strategy. He was hoping someone would have like a, a Lava Hound and a Ground Attack composition. So Jonas, it does successfully work against Town Hall 8s. I've confirmed it from this video. And uh, yeah, pretty much use the Lava Hounds to distract all of the troops, or like the air troops, like the, I guess the... Uh, Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower, stuff like that. Obviously, the air defense aren't going to shoot the Hog Riders. Um, but yeah, just because I have maxed out troops, it was pretty easy. I don't know if that would really work against something like a Town Hall 10. I haven't seen that yet. If you guys have seen videos of people using uh, Lava Hounds with ground troops uh, against maxed out bases, you guys should definitely share that with me because that was something that I thought would be really interesting. But for this base... Super easy, 78%, and we're going to be able to dominate it. So while my guys clean up the rest of this base, if you guys have any army composition suggestions you want to throw to me, definitely drop them in the comment section below. Like I said, going to try to mix it up a little bit, at least for the first couple, five videos, and try to do a bunch of crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, hogs and dogs, like this one, maybe using Valkyries and whatever troops. Again, probably not 240 goblins, but I should be able to switch it up a bit and uh, try to do some crazy raids. 
29 cups, not too shabby for raid number three. Let's just go ahead and move to the next one and we'll probably do maybe four or five raids today. All right, so for this one, another Town Hall 7, just gonna be using Lava Hounds and Dragons. This is actually a pretty popular strategy. Now, uh, people have been using this. I tried it for max Town Hall 10 and it's, it's decent, but with Dragons, Dragons are just really, really stupid. Like if you had to rank troops by IQ, I'd probably put Archer Queen as the the least intelligent then maybe what would be after that i guess dragons i'm trying to think of anything else maybe healers the new healer ai if you guys have tried the new healer um since the update they i think they target groups now and some people have been reporting that they're sort of stupid and they'll like target groups of archers and goblins so maybe those guys are on par with dragons but when I've been trying to use Lava Hounds and Dragons against max out bases, I probably just don't position my Dragons well enough, but they usually just split apart and uh, they end up getting maybe like 55%, but they don't get the Town Hall. Or they get shot down by an Inferno Tower at the end, which is always a problem. But 100% for this raid, obviously it works against Town Hall 7s, and I guess that's all that matters right now. And uh, let's just go ahead and wrap it up with one more raid. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use Witches. And this one is actually pretty fun. I like using this one um, when I'm streaming. And this used to be a really, really powerful army composition. So if you guys didn't play Clash when the Witches had just come out, the Witches had an insane range. So right now you can see they shoot from pretty far away, but they used to shoot from even farther away. And uh, they were almost untouchable. So people would bring 20 Witches. They would bring a couple of Lightning Spells to destroy some Mortars. And then all they would do is just run throughout the base and destroy it all with Witches. And... They, since then, they actually nerf the range of the witches so they don't do damage from as far away and they can be hit by wizard towers and mortars. Um, but people used to use this army composition a lot. And it's probably even weaker now that the giant bombs got upgraded and they have an even farther radius. I, I think the witches came out before the trap upgrade, so they got nerfed by that too. Um, but against bases like this, and sometimes I've used it at Town Hall 10 when I'm streaming and it works pretty well, but you just have to get lucky and pray you don't get hit by a mortar or some sort of giant bomb. All right, so right now sitting at 84%, not too bad at all. One last note about the series. I'm going to show you guys my attack log after each episode, or I guess before each episode, um, just to show you guys like the last person that I attacked so you can make sure that I'm not attacking between episodes and losing and trying to cover it up. Uh, so obviously for the last one today, I'm going to be attacking Lord from the Clan Mage, and uh, you guys will see that at the beginning of the next video. So 33 cups, not too bad. Let's head back to base and see where we're at. We've made a giant climb to gold two where we're at 1,656 cups. Let's just go ahead and check that out on the trophy page. So not bad. Uh, we're going to get a huge 8,400 bonus, but it started a little bit slow. I'm thinking we're going to win a lot on defense. So again, we're at 1,600 right now, but by the time I log off, I'm guessing a lot of people are just going to attack my gold storages, my elixir storages on the outside, and I'm probably going to win a bunch of raids. Uh, so we'll just have to see what happens on the next one, and I will keep you guys updated then. So there's a look at my attack log. I'm going to show you guys the same thing at the beginning of the next video. Hopefully this series goes well. If you guys are enjoying the concept, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to try to post these maybe two or three times a week or even more, depending how many times or how much you guys like it. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.